What is going on guys, it is Aim the Shaman today, we've got a massive bonus of defense, pink slips up for grabs for my opponent to win. Now that does include my keeper, who is Manuel Neuer, who goes for around about 320k, but he probably is the best goalkeeper in the game in my opinion. Now at left back he can also win a labber, he's around about 90k on this game, which is still quite a lot considering his stats, he's not really that special, but he is the best, le best left back in the Bundesliga. We've got Inform Benatia who goes for around about 240k and alongside him we've got Inform Matt Hummels who goes for around about 455k. Now at right back who's actually the most expensive of all of them is Inform Pistrek who goes for around about 485k. Now the rest of the team who are not up for pink zips here but they are still going to be in my squad is Inform Lahm, we've got Inform Shakiri, then we have Gotza, we've got Royce at left wing, Inform Aubameyang and the second Inform Robin. So, when I saw my opponent's squad there, I was quite surprised. I mean, he's got a very interesting squad there with three silver players. He's got Inform Cazorla, but I'm pretty sure he got that Cazorla in a pack or something and he can't sell them. That would be my guess, but I may be wrong. I just thought that was a very interesting and different team. Now, straight away, he gets the first chance of the match with Zarate, but it hits a post, guys, and it stays out of trouble. So, this game does stay at 0 0 there. And Aubameyang does chase onto this ball here for me, he does very well to keep hold of it, he does dodge the defender and he gets a shot away, but the keeper just does enough to keep it out. However the ball is yet to be cleared and Shakiri does find Lam, who gets a shot away, but it does get blocked and this game still stays at 0-0 there. We're creating a lot of chances guys and it wasn't long until Shakiri got his chance of the game, however it just goes wide there, still keeping this game at 0-0 though. Although we are looking quite strong here guys, which is obviously a very good thing and it wasn't long until we got rewarded for our chances and Inform Robin gets his name on the score sheet there in a, in a very weird way, I mean that was a, a very, like it's hardly a touch of the ball at all, but he still got his name on the score sheet for that and fair play to him, I don't really care how he scores as long as he gets me goals. And shortly after, we actually get a very lucky goal there as he threw it straight to me. But Royce, he's still done well there to get the first time shot away. And also, he has to be quite quick, to be honest, guys. I didn't expect that ball at all. So I just suddenly, as soon as I saw it coming towards me, hit circle and just hope it went in. And that's exactly what happened, guys. So it's very unlucky for my opponent, but we are now 2-0 up in this game. However, stupidly, I give him a massive chance to get back in this game. I give him a penalty and give myself a red card. He scores the penalty as well, so he's right back in this game, and I've got to play the rest of it with 10 men. So shortly after, he finds the ball with Zarate, and he scores one hell of a goal there, guys. That was a trick shot. I very rarely see them on FIFA, but this guy decided to pull it off, and it worked wonders for him. So he now gets the equaliser in style, and he's right back on level terms with an extra man to play with. However, if you look around about the 72nd minute mark, he does get a header towards the keeper, and then the connection dropped, guys. Yeah, I think he, it was his side, because I still got coins for this match, and usually that means it is your opponent's connection. But I can't be too sure, guys. All I decided to do was rematch him. So, obviously, he's playing with the same squad there. The only advantage about this was that I actually got all my 11 men back. So, you know, it's pretty harsh. I mean, usually, obviously, I can't really do much about it. I can't just decide to play with 10 men. I decided to play the whole match. I mean, it was kind of his fault because it did disconnect from his side. But, uh, you know, what can he do, guys? Let's just get on with the match. So, in this match, guys, it actually starts off quite well here because we win ourselves a penalty. It was a very controversial decision there from the referee. I mean, I didn't expect that to be given as a penalty. It was a hell of a dive, to be honest, guys, looking at it. He just jumps to the floor, and uh, that is it, guys. The referee points to the spot. And Robin makes no mistakes to score. We are now 1 0 up in this game, but last game we were 2 0 up and we completely threw it away, so I still am yet to feel a bit safe yet. And as you see, Inform Alarms does fairly well there, but it's not long until he gets tackled. But uh, luckily for me, the ball does fall straight to Inform Aubameyang. He finds Royce, he does the fake shot around the player and scores the goal. We are now 2 0 up in this game, and uh, once again, guys, we have the two goal lead against this guy. However, we do know he can bring it back because he has done it in the past. It's just down to us to now keep our defence strong. So he does make some changes there, guys, and I don't blame him. He was yet to have a shot at that point in the game, so obviously he needed to do some adjustments. So in this game at the moment guys, we keep the ball in play there with Inform Robin, he finesses it into the side net in there, making it go perfectly into the back of the net, and we are now 3-0 up in this game with a very comfortable lead. And it is not long until he once again picks up the ball in a dangerous position with Zarate, and to be fair to my opponent, he uses Zarate as if he is like Inform Ibrahimovic, he just makes one wonders on this game, and I, you know, I've got to give him credit for that. And he does score a nice goal there, guys, getting him back in the game. However, you know, it's just still quite a lot to do yet. I mean, he's still got to score at least two goals. And I've now got all my 11 men. 
However, guys, this guy is definitely not afraid to give me a good fight here. He makes it 3-2 once again, getting himself straight back into the game. However, we do get a corner here, guys. We're doing quite well to keep hold of the ball and not lose it. And Matt Hummels picks up the ball here on the edge of the box. He gets the cross away, and at first it gets cleared. But we end up finding Shakiri, who does at first get blocked, but he does score the goal. And eventually, we get that fourth goal for us in the match, making it 4-2. So it's quite nice to score that. I think there's a bit of a trick shot there, but I can't really tell. It does look like he looked away as he shot it, but it doesn't matter, guys. It went in the back of the net, and that was the end score. We win this match 4-2. It was one hell of a match there, guys. And uh, fair play to my opponent. He never gave up in this game. But if you look at the stats, I did actually deserve to win. But uh, fair play to him, and uh, thanks for watching, guys. We do keep my bonus eager defence. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. We're on a bit of a win streak now, guys. Still yet to lose in a few games, so hopefully we can continue this.